what the Better Business Bureau said you can do to help protect loved ones. First, emphasize how harmless telemarketing scams actually can be and explain they can also turn dangerous. And lots of junk mail and spam calls can be signs of a scam. Encourage your loved one to ignore phone calls and messages that appear suspicious. And also be careful of charities that are not vetted. The BBB says older Americans tend to be more trusting and generous. New developments tonight in the deadly building explosion in Youngstown. 170 people living in the apartments next to that building that blew up had to be evacuated. The mayor made the announcement today saying engineers are worried about the building's structural integrity, warning it could collapse. Last month, a crew working in the basement of the building cut a gas line leading to the blast. The NTSB said the crew thought the gas had been turned off. Seven people got hurt. An employee at the Chase Bank in the building died. He recently graduated from Youngstown State University. And tonight, more than 40 people do not have a home after their apartment building caught fire in Miami, Florida. The mayor called this the city's largest building fire in 25 years. Police arrested a suspect. The 73-year-old man faces gun, arson, and attempted murder charges. Investigators said he shot a 31-year-old building employee and set the place on fire. It took 126 firefighters eight hours to get the flames under control. Investigators are still looking into how this fire started. The gunshot victim is in critical condition. Storm Center 7 Chief Meteorologist Austin Cheney joins us now. And uh, I, I heard you cut the grass. He said that earlier. Hey, well, I had to get that done before this heat gets cranked up because I didn't want to be just drenched in sweat. I know. Well, and that's a good idea. I wonder how many other people did that today. Yeah, Enjoyed the nice nice day. I don't know. You got you to do it. Enjoy it again tomorrow. And then at the end of the week, I'll be wanting to come to your pool because uh, come on over. the heat is going to be just piled on across the Miami Valley starting on Sunday. Here's the plan tonight. It's still a very nice night all across the valley. We're going to have temperatures down into the mid-50s. But starting tomorrow, we begin to feel the heat. 80s are coming back. It's not all bad news quite yet. It's Sunday that the big heat really starts to build in with 90s and a lot of mugginess by then as well. But for now, it's not here yet. Here we are in downtown Dayton, partly to mostly clear skies. We have comfortable temperatures out there. We're still in the lower 60s in many spots, 64 degrees for us here in Dayton. But St. Mary's has cooled off to 59 degrees. And again, we're all heading to those mid-50s overnight. Now, at times tonight, we may see a few clouds coming in overhead thanks to a weak disturbance. But this is not producing any rain anywhere near us. And those clouds are out of here. We're back to the sunshine by the time we get to tomorrow morning. So no issues for your Wednesday commute. It'll be a nice, comfortable start to the day there in the upper 50s. And then windows down for the ride home, lower 80s, low humidity. No issues out there on the roadways that'll slow you down. Here's Skycast for the day tomorrow. You see mostly sunny skies right on through the first part of the day. Here we are late tomorrow morning, and we're nearly as warm then as we were all day today. And, of course, we get warmer from there with those high temperatures tomorrow climbing into the lower 80s. But the heat, it starts to build in. How about Thursday? 88 degrees. Average high is 82, so we're a bit above it come Thursday. Now, Friday and Saturday, you see we put the pause on the big warm-up thanks to a very weak cold front. That knocks us back down to the middle 80s. But come Sunday, we're back up to 90 degrees with hotter weather just past the next five days. And there's no rain to go with this either. So tomorrow's a dry day, plenty of sunshine. Late on your Thursday, we're going to have a cold front start to inch closer to us. And this is really our only chance for rain out of about the next five days. This could give us an isolated shower overnight Thursday and early Friday. But the main thing that front does for us is just usher in that ever so slightly cooler air, highs mid-80s, and the less humid air. Come Sunday, we resume the warm-up. So as we look ahead to the weekend, if you're making outdoor plans, Saturday is by far the more comfortable of the two days. Sunday, we're at 90 with more mugginess. High temperatures, or the heat index rather, on Sunday could reach as hot as 93 degrees. And then here we go in the Storm Center 7-day forecast. Look at next Monday. 95 degrees, just a 20% chance of a shower or a thunderstorm cooling us off with a heat index of 102. It continues into Tuesday, 92 degrees, feels like temperature of 100 degrees, and I don't see 90s really coming to an end just past the seven-day forecast. This may be a five- or six-day event that we get to 90-plus. Thank you, and thank Austin. New numbers on men and lifespan. We dig deeper into the data to find out how they can live longer. 